What are going on, people? What are you saying? It is I, Diligent Fingers, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a video, an actual video of me actually speaking to you guys. Um, really sorry about the quality of the video. I am phone filming it on my phone. Um, but I feel like, I feel there's a need for me to actually speak up now. Um, as a small creator that's been trying to figure out what to do, where to go on the channel, what my identity is and stuff like that for like sort of the last sort of three years now. I went pretty hard at, at it for a year and then loads of changes started coming in um, and it's due to these changes why I have not been back really for quite a long time in terms of making regular, regular content. Um, you know, because... Obviously, there was other stuff going on in my life behind the scenes and everything like that. But, yeah, no, it was like one of the main reasons was definitely what was going on with YouTube and stuff. All the changes that were happening um, as a result of, you know, big creators making stupid, really stupid mistakes. And I feel like it's gotten to the point now where, like... I I I need to say something. I do need to say something. As a small creator, as someone that's been trying to find their feet for a few years now and trying to figure out, okay, okay, the gaming thing. Something happened with PewDiePie, so the gaming thing has got is is has you know ended up going against the algorithm and stuff. Um, you know, music videos, music in general on, on YouTube just doesn't seem to do that great unless you're doing well on other platforms and you can drive people to your YouTube channel. Um, you know, cause of, because of other changes that were being made. So there were so many adpocalypses that were going on and everyone's, everyone's concentrating on revenue, 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 revenue and stuff. But for the small creator... Like, especially since in terms of small creators needing to make, to me needing to, to be able to, sorry, in terms of small creators being able to make any kind of money, monetizing anything to do with their channel, do you know what I mean? They, you have to have 1,000 subscribers now. I've got 316 and stuff. Granted, I've not been uploading regularly, because of stuff that's been going on behind the scenes in my life, as well as, you know, things that have been going on with YouTube. But, you know, like, when that happened, it was like, right, okay, then, cool. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal because I'm, you know, I, I'm not doing this to make money anyway. Do you know what I mean? But I didn't realise the full extent of, okay, that's happened, but there's other things behind it that has ended up happening like certain things that we had that we were able to use as small creators that we now do not have because of bigger creators making massive mistakes that end up affecting the little guy if there's one thing that i really enjoyed doing even though i didn't get much time to do it but if there's one thing that i really enjoyed doing it was streaming and stuff obviously i was trying to take time to figure out how i can make my streams better what equipment do i need and this that and the other and you know sometimes these things take time and stuff but i'm preparing myself like right okay when i come back i can stream i can talk to my subscribers we can have conversations about you know what's going on around us political or otherwise you know what i mean to do with mental health and things like that oh no we can't do that now if I want to be able to stream to my subscribers, I need to have 10,000 subscribers to be able to stream. Whereas as a small was as a small YouTuber before, we were able to do that. No no problems whatsoever. And now that there's another reason for an ad apocalypse, now to do with Vox, this media outlet called Vox going after an independent creator, I think it's Steven Crowder or whatever his name is, but obviously other people are being thrown in there, Alex Jones, this, that, and the other. So now because something, is, because a big publication has gone after an independent creator and an independent creator that has got millions, millions of subscribers, so therefore they're seen as some, some kind of threat because they have a big following, more changes are going to end up getting made. I've, I, I've been seeing that, like, history channels, because they have 
things to do with Nazi propaganda and explaining history, what what went on to do with the Nazis, their channels are being affected and stuff like that. Like, I've, uh, there's so much, like, channels that I used to follow that used to talk about mental health, that used to talk about sort of certain political things, their, them channels are being hit. And it's getting ridiculous now. It is getting absolutely ridiculous. For me as a small creator that is still trying to find their feet, that is still with every change that comes in, I've got to step back and think, okay, I can't go down that path now. Even though I would be nowhere near as bad, I wouldn't be any trouble at all compared to the people that they're trying to target and that with these changes. I've still got to change the way that I want to present myself for the, for the sake of other people that are fucking up and making these changes. It's gotten to the point where where if I want to have a real conversation about things, I can't do that. I can't do that. I have to I have to sort of in a sense censor myself. I I can't talk about personal things that have happened in my life because of other people because of other people that that have no idea who I am. Yeah. But because of the fuck ups that they have made in that, I'm affected. Small crew, small YouTubers like me are affected. I've seen so many people jump ship from YouTube to Twitch to whatever other platform to try and you know, be build build content and build an, an audience for themselves and stuff. And for me it's like I'm trying to I'm trying to stick with YouTube because I feel like YouTube is the best place to build an audience. I don't feel like I can fucking say that anymore now. I really don't. And it's like it even gets to the point of all right, well why am I why am I even doing this video? Is it going to get anywhere? Are my subscribers even going to see it? Because there's always problems with people's sub boxes, people not getting notifications about the, oh my God, and then you've got to ring a bell, you've subscribed, so you should be getting notifications for, because you've subscribed to this channel to be able to see what is going on with this channel. Oh no, but no, that doesn't work. You have to do an extra step as well. Even though the first step should have been enough, you have to do an extra step. It's like it's like it's never ending. It's like, and I know YouTube YouTube are trying to do their best and da 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 da. da. But when it comes to us small creators, really trying to do things, you know, I mean, trying trying to enjoy what we do and do what we love and feel like there is a place for us on this platform, it's slowly getting to the point like that there isn't. There isn't, regardless, regardless of what you want to do. The things that I'm into, gaming, making music, talking about music, talking about issues that are going on, social issues, sometimes political issues. Can I? Because I cannot say that I am the most politically minded person in the world. Far from it. I would be, you could consider me the casual. I need to know more, but I just don't know enough. Why? Because I've got enough things going on in my life. And that is not an excuse. That is not a cop-out or anything like that. That's just the reality of it for some people. Do you know what I mean? For the, like, That's just how it is for some people in this world. But for a lot of people like me, you know, in terms of, in terms of finding YouTube, discovering that you can what you can do on YouTube and the audience that you can build on YouTube. Like for me as a musician, having an audience that I can directly connect to is everything. I'm not that much of a social butterfly. I have to get my, my head around social media in general and, you know, what pl platforms are the best for certain things and this, that and the other. But for if, if anything, if there was ever a platform that I thought would be a good jumping pad, I thought it would be YouTube, but slowly but surely, the tools that 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 we need to be able to build our platforms that were useful to us are slowly but one by one being taken away from us because of other people messing up, and it's like, ah, uh, it just it just, I just don't see the point in even think, trying to think about doing anything on YouTube anymore. 
It's all about. I feel like I should just go somewhere else, find an audience, find a different platform, and you know, see what can happen on there because YouTube just doesn't feel like it's a home for small creators at all. If you're a corporation with big money to spend and this, that, and the other, you know what I mean, and you've already got a following. You know, YouTube will welcome you with open arms. But if you're you're starting from the bottom, there's no place for you on YouTube, man. There's there's none. Even if you've got three hundred subscribers like me, there is no home for you on YouTube. Sounds really pessimistic. It really does. But it's hard to it's hard for me to feel like there's any other way. Don't get me wrong. I'll still upload music. But things like this, videos where I'm I'm talking directly to to my audience, do you know what I mean? My subscribers and things like that. You know, every, even like it was never really a thing about growth for me either. Like obviously, growth would be nice. It would definitely be nice. But you know, for me. It was all about getting that content out there, finding my feet. Okay, what do people like from me? What do I like to do? What do I enjoy doing? What do I, where, what things can I do on here that I will get the most out of and that will keep me motivated, keep me inspired? All the things that I wanted to do, they've all been taken away from me now. Like streaming, like doing DJ streams, DJ sets live on YouTube for you guys. Do you know what I mean? Talking about music, you know, podcasts and things like that. Do you know what I mean? Being able to do it live, into interaction, engagement, the things that YouTube want us <laughs> to do. We can't, as small creators, we can't do it. Because slowly but surely, all the tools are being taken away from us. And... We've just got to figure out, we've just got to roll with it, basically, and just figure out, okay, YouTube has made another change. I've got to change my whole content now to suit this change because someone who who's getting a lot more attention from YouTube than we are as small creators has messed up and caused social outrage and now all the all the news media outlets are looking at youtube and did it I, like as a small creator i do not feel sorry i do not feel sorry i've got no sympathy for anybody anywhere really if you're making mistakes and this that and the other you should be dealt with as an individual not all these generalization fucking sweeps of actions that are going on because it is unfair granted yeah life is not fair river river cool no problem. Safe. We'll just go somewhere else then. <laughs> That's what it just makes me feel like. It just makes me feel like I'll go somewhere else. Do you know what I mean? Facebook is even getting to that point. Do you know what I mean? Where it's just like, there's no point. Like, we've got, I've got 5,000 friends on Facebook. Not even, not even 5% of them see any, any of the posts that I put up. And now uh, when, so then that begs the question, well, why have I got all these people then? Like, I've got a fan page with 3,000 odd people on there. Again, about a fifth, 5% of people on my fan page see see anything that I post. What is the point in having all... What is the point in having these numbers if we can't reach these numbers? Because our tools are being taken away from us. Oh, what reached these numbers? Oh, I've got to pay extra to reach these numbers. So I've already done the work spreading myself all over the place to be able to get these people to actually follow me and this, that, and the other. Oh, I've got to pay now to actually interact with these with these followers I've worked so hard to gather. Oh, it just gets frustrating. It just gets more and more frustrating. Ugh. I don't know what I'm. I, I really don't know what I'm, what I'm, what I'm going to do on this platform on this channel, at all. I'm still got to upload music, of course. I'm gonna do that, like, but I hardly ever promote it. I upload it just so then there's somewhere for me to be able to look back on and say, oh, there's some stuff there. Do you know what I mean? I can send people to this place and people can see what I've done music wise. That's about it. 
anything meaningful, anything of substance or anything like that, you cannot do on YouTube. There's no place for it, unfortunately. And that's so, all, you know. Sorry, sorry if it sounds p pessimistic, but that's just how I feel at the moment. It's just, oh, if it's not one thing, it's another. Like every other month or every other couple of months, there's a new change or there's a new scandal that's going to bring about a new change. And that means we're going to have to jump through hoops just to find a place on this platform. It's, it's, it's sad. It's sad. I'm still going to try and figure out what I what what I can do on here that I, that will keep me motivated and keep me inspired and stuff like that but for now I don't know man I don't know it's it's not looking good unfortunately but yeah with that stop rambling Ugh. thank you very much for watching and listening if you have <laughs> hope you have an amazing day I should be back soon hopefully just explaining more about why I've been away in that but yeah man take it easy and as always blessings to you all